Right, so we're back. Or well, I'm back, at least. So yeah, I'm getting rid of the horrid two-spoke steering wheel because if, well, it's just a goddamn awful wheel. I mean, if you, I think the camera angle is really dodgy, but I've got nowhere to put it. Anyway, nobody likes two-spoke steering wheels, but this is the one we're fitting. The uh, three-spoke R53 multi-function steering wheel. This is the airbag. <laughs> this is the airbag. <laughs> oh, God. This is the current steering wheel. Looks goddamn awful. There's two screws to remove the steering wheel. One there, and then one on the other side. And then the airbag just pulls off. Um, I have disconnected the battery, by the way, you know. Just to clarify. And this is inside the airbag. Inside the airbag. <laughs> oh my days, I'm not on it. Um, I'm just gonna remove these clips. No, these clips. I'm not with it. This video is gonna be so awful. There's one. I just pull this, the airbag drops and blows up. Yeah! Right, there's the horrid airbag, just a side by side comparison. Wait for it. <clears throat> Bollocks. Much, much better just on the airbag alone. I'm going to say this bolt is a 16mm, may I guess. I've got two explosive devices in the passenger seat. Right, I'm going to remove that. I'm not going to record the actual process of me undoing it. So, wow, why do I look so weird? What's going on there? I like a zombie. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to remove this. This is such a shocking video. Oh, yeah. Fuck! <laughs> we'll go off, it's dead. Ah! Oh, God, the brute force. That was easy. Let me move you back just a bit. Well, yeah, that's a long bolt. Well, it's not that long. So I've removed the bolt. Obviously I won't put that back on because that's just weight saving. Now luckily, I will show this. The only car I've ever taken the steering wheel off that has a little mark. God, that's not even straight. Who the hell put that on? Focus, God damn it. Look at that. Obviously whoever put that on is either retarded or they couldn't be Oh, that interior light was on or they couldn't be asked to spend 20 pounds 25 pounds on getting the tracking done i'll put a photo i'll include a photo of what i've just taken because it looks incredibly detailed off that line one two three four and a half it's four and a half off the new shiny steering wheel God, I didn't, oh God, I didn't take a photo of it before. Obviously this has got the multi-spoke, multi-function connector, which this Mini does not have. No matter. Right, so I've got the wheel on. And I'm not sure if it's just, maybe you do have to screw it in, but this one seems to clip. You seem to push it and it clips in, as opposed to that one that you screw in. So this is the wheel. So not that I had a had it after before, but that's it after. Look how good it looks. As opposed to that crap. So I've connected the battery back up. I'm gonna give it a test drive. I'm gonna turn the ignition on outside the car just in case the airbag blows up. Hopefully I haven't got an airbag light on. Nope. I'm not in gear, am I? Nope. There we go. Probably a story for another time. Having said that, this video is filmed before the update video. 
But anyway, I had some overheating issues on the way to work. So I suppose this is a good chance to uh, test that as well. Safety first. I won't film me actually going for a test drive, but... Oh God, it feels so much better. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? All right, we're back. With a bit of help of uh, Google, I did manage to figure it out. Basically, there's that there, and then another one on the other side. And you basically put it through the hole and work your way down. To be fair, I don't even know how I did it now, but as far as I'm aware, you push it down to this and push it that way so it unclips this. I uh, do not recommend that you do this on a main road as should a cop car pass, you'll probably think you're robbing it. This time around, I've lined it up perfectly with the line, and I'll see how far, uh, I'll see how far, I can't even get my words out, I'll see how far we're out based on that. So this seems to be straight. Obviously, no doubt means the tracking is well out, which I will get done. What I'm gonna do is just pull it off and try and get it as straight as I possibly can until I can get it sorted. That's just straight looks straight to me I'm just gonna take for a quick spin but anyway no it feels great the steering wheel to be honest oh god it feels ten times better than the shitty two-spoke one I mean nobody likes two-spoke steering wheels like come on so yeah I'm just tightening this back up to be fair because I took it for a little bit of a test drive on a bumpy ass road as soon as I get on the actual road, it's probably going to be well out. Um, but to be honest, it needs it needs the tracking done anyway. So on the bright side, it's heating up nicely in here. Yeah. Do you miss the works? Okay. Wipers work amazing. I have no idea how you get that back wiper to work. Oh no, there we go. I've got no screen wash. All right then. Jesus. So I put everything back together. Airbags on. For some reason, the airbag light is now on. I suspect that I need a cable to reset the code, which doesn't surprise me to be honest. I also gave the car a bit of a clean. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. The next video, oh yeah, I need to turn you the wheel. Well, I probably have. It looks a load, loads better. I'm not necessarily bothered about the multifunction working. However, I do want it to light up when the lights are on, which obviously it doesn't. Uh, I think you can just change the, I forgot what it's called now. We've gone brain dead. I'll put it on the screen anyway. And then you can plug it in and then it will light up. But yeah, I think that's probably the end of the video. I've got a little bit brain dead. I have calmed down since earlier. But I am extremely pleased with that. And it feels a hell of a lot better. So yeah, that, that's it. This video isn't that well put together, I must admit. It's kind of just a last minute thing. I just decided to do the steering wheel. But nevertheless, there's always next time to be a bit more structured. I still feel kind of retarded.